All right, guys, so I got three tips that you would want to use to scale your home service company. Number one is very clear, it's to be branded. Make sure that your website, your truck wraps, your yard signs all look the same. You don't need to put everything on every single van wrap. You don't need to have the BBB. You don't need to have Angie's List. You don't need to have five stars on Yelp. Just have a really good brand. When somebody types into the internet, Google in particular, Garage Door Repair Phoenix versus A1 Garage Door Service, a1 Garage Door Service means branded. Garage Door Repair Phoenix means non-branded. When you build a brand, and that means your trucks, your radio, your TV, your billboards, which a lot of people don't believe in, your pay-per-click spend goes down significantly. When you're branded, people start searching for you. You get a higher booking rate, higher conversion rate, less cancellations, and it's a better overall plan for your marketing. Early on, I had to figure out first how to get direct response because I couldn't afford to brand myself. And then I finally learned that branding, along with direct response, meant cheaper prices on pay-per-click because people were searching my search term, A1 Garage Door Service. And then the revenue started going through the roof, profits started going through the roof, and it was a game changer for A1 and myself. I'll, I'll tell you a story about how I grew 141%, $41 million, is when I met this guy, Dan Antonelli. This is one of his first books, Building a Big Small Business Brand. And through this book, he's got different trucks he's wrapped and just amazing things. I never knew how important it was from an optical standpoint of how you look to the consumer. A lot of people have all this stuff on the side of their truck, A+, BBB, Yelp, and everything else. And that stuff really just congests what you could read on the side of the truck. It's not a brand. What I found is by getting a good website that matched the trucks, that matched the yard signs, that matched the whole messaging throughout where you're advertising changes the game. And it literally makes such a big difference. That's how I grew 141%, and this is no joke. Dan Antonelli with Kick Charge talks about how he grew over 2,000 brands to the next level. It changes what people are searching for. I said I wanted that old 1960s feeling of like the milkman, just the trusted person coming to your door. And that's what he built for me. You should see the old version versus the new one is just mind numbing to think about what I used to think was good. The average person could only read seven words on a billboard. Think about that. If you got more than seven words on a billboard, they're not reading the phone number. They might remember the website, but they're remembering the brand. And we call this impressions. How many impressions are they getting of you? Because really what you're trying to do, if you're a plumber and the hot water heater goes out, you're trying to think of which ones you recognize when you're looking at Google. And it, what happens is you get a higher click-through rate, a higher booking rate, and a higher average ticket because you're trusted. When they see your trucks all around town, your yard signs, a good website, and they see kind of everything kind of matching each other, they start to build more trust. Number two is make sure you're maximizing the most out of Google. What do you do to maximize the most out of Google? Well, there's local service ads, there's Google My Business, there's pay-per-click, and there's organic. So there's two types of way to grow. You can start your own business and continue to grow organically. That's called greenfield growth. What starts is you gotta build a staff, you gotta build relationships, you've gotta figure out a way to enter into a market. Whereas when you buy a company, you're paying a lot more upfront, but your marketing costs a lot cheaper because they have repeat customers. They have already a lot of Google and Yelp reviews. They've already got employees. So the question is, can you grow Greenfield? Most smart companies like to grow 50% organically and 50% through acquisitions. Now what's nice when A1 Garage Wars buys a company, we're able to fix the systems, the KPIs. So we're able to fix the conversion rate, the average ticket, the cost per acquisition. We're able to have the technicians work a lot less and go through our training with a sophisticated CRM. So we buy a company and then we grow it five times. So in a way we're kind of mixing M&A, so mergers and acquisitions with organic growth. And finally, the best advice is realize that one A player equals three B players. Always be recruiting. Look for a top talent, train them. I hire for attitude and then I train them on garage doors. Let's talk about building a team. So 2007, I got in the business. In 2010, I actually had my mom and stepdad move out from Michigan. And the reason I chose to work from family is because I needed trust. And I always thought, who better to trust than mom? It turned out well for the company. But what I gotta tell you is I turned into a recruiter. I started hiring for personality, eye contact, tonality, their handshake. Can they tell a good story? Do they show up on time? Do they ask great questions? And what I found during COVID was that I started focusing 10 times more on the team rather than the customer. Building the right people that represented the company, that handed out business cards, that recruited, that cared a lot more. And over the evolution of the company, the majority of my time now is spent building the team but finding a foundation for success with people. So when I go to a restaurant or get a haircut or I'm at Discount Tires, I'm always looking to recruit. We built an environment and a community and a culture to help 
with that avenue of recruiting comes first because the people will take you to the top. You know, like Jim Collins said, get the right people on the bus and then decide where you're going. You see, a lot of times people hire people and they train with them. They're learning the business with them. What if you could hire people that could tell you exactly where you need to go? Train, train, train. So I focus on recruiting, orienting, training, and then retaining. You see, a lot of the times I see people, they're so busy recruiting, they're losing people out the back door. It's important to retain the great people you already have. So I met a guy years ago at the Scottsdale Design Center. His name is Saeed, and he gets all of his customers through referrals. And what I learned is he told me one day we went out to dinner, he said, I pay these referrals the day I get paid. I don't prolong the pay period. I don't uh, ever lie to them and tell them they didn't get that client. He said, pay referrals right away. So the same thing exists in recruiting. Your employees wanna get paid when they actually do the work. They want attribution. They wanna know that they actually did it and they get paid for it. So my recommendation would be when you get somebody to recruit for you internally, you pay them on time and you celebrate the wins. We've got a big check that we give out with the guy's name on it for recruiting and we celebrate it throughout the company. We make sure to celebrate the wins. And in fact, 50 to 60% of the people you hire should be through employee referrals. One of the other tips I have is anytime you're doing something fun, whether you're going out to eat, going bowling, going to a ball game, tell the people to go on Facebook Live and celebrate those wins and say, if you guys are looking to change your career and looking to have fun like I have, PM me and I'll tell you how to get a job here. And then those referrals get treated, they get to the top of the line because they're amazing people. We make sure to have the employees that are recruiting sign off saying this is a good person and a trusted friend that'll kick butt at the company. So I talk to a lot of businesses, I consult a lot of businesses. And one thing I find is they're always looking looking at these unemployment line places like Indeed Career Builder, Monster, Craigslist. They're looking to find people that are on the unemployment line. Unfortunately, that doesn't work very well. You want people that already have a job. You want to take them from one career to another. The best employees are already working and understanding that is the fundamentals. Here's another tip is what are somebody going to find when they search out your company on Glassdoor and Indeed? What are the people that are currently working there saying? Just like Yelp and Google, and next door are important for customer facing. Indeed and Glassdoor, Indeed and Glassdoor are so important for the home service industry in particular to find out what current employees are saying. So what can you do? The people that have been around a long time that you trust, just ask them if you could go online and leave a couple of reviews and let us know what you think of us. It's not that hard, but people do go there but they wanna find out about your company and how you treat. Guys, if you're enjoying the information I'm talking about, like, subscribe, ask any questions on your mind and I'll get back to you.